guys, so in honour of our being the official vloggers for the Man Booker Prize 2015, the other um, YouTubers and I who are part of this decided to make a Man Booker Prize tag. This is just really like any other um, book tag but with lots of Man Booker related and general prize related questions and I have decided to bring the tag to you here today but please please I want to precede this by saying I tag everybody if you would like to do this tag if you like the questions and please 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 do it would mean the world to us um, and it isn't in any way exclusive and if you do film this tag then please tweet me um, your video so that I can share it and check it out um, I'm really intrigued to see what your answers are to these questions because we kind of designed them with um, what we were interested in hearing in mind. Question number one is how long have you been following the Man Booker Prize? Where did you hear about it? And if there's any other prizes that you follow? Quite a big question isn't it? <laughs> so I've never been one particularly who will like go out buy all of the books that have been long listed for a prize and try and guess myself. It's been a lot of fun doing it this year but it never really occurred to me to do it before. Um, but I do like to kind of look through past prizes and what's won different prizes to find interesting books including the Man Booker Prize the Hugo Awards for science fiction books, the Eisner Awards for like graphic novels and stuff, these are all um, like lists I will go to to look for good books if I am on the search. I've always been quite aware of the Man Booker Prize because it is one of those prizes that they like to plaster all over the covers of books that have been shortlisted or won and I have a very vivid memory of being in high school and having to pick a book to write a paper on that the school hadn't recommended to me but it had to be literary in some way. Um, and I just remember like going through my dad's bookshelves and pulling out a book specifically because it has this one, the Man Booker Prize, on it. And I thought, hey, what's more literary than that? Question number two is, if you read a book that has been long listed, what expectations do you have on it? And of course I have slightly higher expectations than I might. I, in, in saying that though, I have high expectations for every book I read in a sense because I have chosen to read it. But I guess I expect something particular from the language or the way it was written or the style in particular to stand out rather than just simply the plot. Question number three is have you read any of the books from the long list this year? If you haven't, are you interested in any? And yes I have. Um, I have read The Chimes which I've done a book review of. I have read Satin Island which I wasn't crazy about. I have read half of the Illuminations but um, I was reading that shortly before the shortlist got announced and decided to put it down until the winner has been announced and go back to it um, because I'd like to get through some of the shortlist now. I'm currently almost finished A Brief History of Seven Killings and I'm also halfway through The Fisherman. I suspect that A Brief History of Seven Killings is going to win. But then I really want to try um, The Year of the Runaways because I feel like that could be in with a chance. I need to read it and decide for myself. Um, but yeah, those are my like guesses for the winner. Which previous long-listed or shortlisted book is your favourite? Um, some books I really love that have been um, shortlisted or long-listed for the Man Booker Prize include Room by Emma Donoghue, which I love, and was shortlisted in 2010. Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood, which was shortlisted in 1996. And also The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, which was shortlisted in 1986. Margaret Atwood has been shortlisted a few times. Um, another one that's been shortlisted is um, Cat's Eye, but I don't like Cat's Eye. Which previous Man Booker winner is your favourite, or which one would you like to read? So I, th I think I'll go for what ones I would like to read, since I just mentioned ones that I liked. I'd really like to read Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. I'd also really like um, to read Paddy Clark Ha 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 by Roddy Doyle who I have read some of his other books and absolutely adore as a writer. And then there are a variety of authors who have been shortlisted that I want to try including Kazuo Ishiguro and Ali Smith and more Margaret Atwood because you can never read too much Margaret Atwood. Sarah Waters. There are some like really really great authors in there. Like I said some of the books that have been shortlisted and longlisted I didn't enjoy. Um, there's a really wide variety that gets shortlisted and longlisted for the Man Booker Prize and it really depends on the judges that year. Question number six, is there any book that you wish had been uh, longlisted this year? I'm quite bad because I rarely read books the year they come out. So I'm not that up to date on books that have been published recently. There's some short story collections I've read. I don't think short story collections are eligible um, but since I enjoyed Kirsty Logan's short story collections so much I probably would have really liked to have seen her novel Grace Keepers long listed and although I haven't actually read it I was kind of hoping that Margaret Atwood's new book um, would be long listed um, 
but I'll read it anyway. And those are all the questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope some of you choose to do it as well. If you can't do a video, then please leave your answers to these questions down below if you have any thoughts. And until next time, guys, happy reading. I'll see you all again soon. Bye!